Uber just made a big announcement when it comes to upfront fares and trip radar. Let's talk about it right now. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. Uber just made some big announcements talking about the future of upfront earnings and trip radar, which is going to be coming to most markets over the next couple of months. So that is really nice to see because you're gonna have a lot more information on the ping request screen right up front. You're gonna know the pickup, the drop off, how much you're gonna earn, and a little bit more. Trip Radar is also going to be expanding into the markets with upfront earnings as they roll out these features into new markets over the next couple of months. And also stay tuned because Harry is sitting down and doing an interview with Uber CEO Dara coming on Monday. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you won't miss that interview. And they're also going to reintroduce the Uber Pro program and it's gonna have a first of its kind, an annual cash reward. Now for some people, you might not remember what upfront earnings is if you don't have it available in your market yet, but with the new announcements that they're making and rolling it into most markets, in the next couple of months, here's a refresher on exactly what upfront earnings is. The first change that they're making is called upfront pricing for drivers. So you may be aware of what upfront pricing for passengers is, and basically that's when you order a ride and you see how much it's going to cost right up front. The same thing is going to be on the driver side. So when you get a ping request coming in, you're going to see the pickup location, the drop-off location, and how much you will make on that trip. Uber is claiming that it's going to be more transparent when it comes to how much you will make for that fare, and that's why they're rolling it out to these new 20 markets. And it's supposed to give drivers consistency and reliability when it comes to earnings. Now, if you like being able to see that trip information right off the bat, including how much you're going to earn on a trip, make sure you smash that like button. Also, if you have any comments on any of the changes, including upfront pricing for drivers and any of the other changes that I'm going to be talking about, make sure you put them in the comments below. Now, one of the things to note about upfront fare details and knowing the pickup and drop off locations, including how much you're going to earn for that ride, you don't have to maintain an acceptance level yet. So Uber is saying that it doesn't matter what your acceptance rate is, you will still see this information but that could change down the road. As I said, they may tweak this to see how things are going to be more reliable when it comes to a rider, when it comes to drivers. So again, as of now, acceptance rate will not matter. You're going to see the pickup and the drop-off information as well as how much you will make for that ride. Now, one thing to note is that fares will no longer be based on fixed time and distance rates alone. So instead, upfront fares are going to be based on several factors. Some you're gonna know well, like base fare, time and distance rates, and some are new, like real-time demand at the destination. Now, when it comes to my thoughts on upfront pricing, I think this is good because you're going to be able to see all the information right away. You're gonna know where the pickup is, you're gonna know where the drop-off is, and you're also going to know how much you're gonna make for that ride. So you can make the best decision whether it's gonna be worth it for you or not. But again, I wanna hear what your thoughts are, so make sure you comment below. And now let's talk about another feature that Uber is bringing, and some drivers are gonna enjoy this while other drivers are not. And that change is called rate rebalancing. Essentially, it boils down to shorter trips are going to pay you more, while longer trips are going to pay you less. So right off the bat, if you like taking shorter trips, you're going to like this because you're gonna get paid more. And if you like taking longer trips, well, you might wanna reevaluate how you're driving because you're going to see a little bit of a pay cut. But overall, in the five markets that Uber said that they're piloting this program already in, that drivers are seeing pretty much no changes when it comes to earnings overall. And for those that are taking shorter trips, now, when it comes down to it, on the fare receipt, drivers will no longer see the breakdown of a per mile or per minute breakdown. You're going to see what you're going to get up front, and that is what you're going to earn. And it will still include surge. The surge map isn't changing. Now, make sure to comment your thoughts on this rate rebalancing where you get paid more for shorter trips 
get paid less for longer trips, and that you won't be able to see a per mile or per minute breakdown in the fare breakdown once you get the receipt. Now for my thoughts on this is kind of weird. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. And in the five markets that Uber said that they're testing this already in, that drivers did not see any overall change when it came to it. But the whole thing is when you can't see the breakdown of the per mile and per minute rate that you're getting, well, that means that Uber could change those rates at any time and you wouldn't know. The other thing that has been brought up is, will you actually be able to see how much Uber's take is from this or not? Now, the other thing though, it just doesn't make sense with things like gas prices rising. If you're going to pay more for shorter rides, but less for longer rides, it's like this weird teeter-tottering effect that if Uber says that there's no overall change to how much drivers are actually making, well, then why can't you just raise short rides up a little bit higher and keep long rides where they are. And then that way drivers are going to have overall better experience and more pay when it comes down to it because, well, if they take shorter rides, then they're gonna get paid a little bit more. Now let's get on to another change that Uber is making. And this is something new and actually sounds really interesting. And this is called Trip Radar. Now this is gonna show you what trips are available around you when you don't have a rider in the car. Now how Trip Radar works is that you can then tap on any requests you're interested in and select as many favorites as you want. Since other drivers will have access to the list as well, you won't get all of your picks. They're going to match with the closest driver to that rider. And the more you tap though, the more likely you're going to match with an option that you want. Now for those that are multi-apping out there, this might sound something similar to another app, Instacart. Instacart, you have batches and you can choose what batch you wanna take and if it's worth it for you. Now, the difference is this is Uber and this is for rides. So there could be open-ended ride requests coming in and you could pick and choose the ones that you wanna take. And if they're available and nobody else is taking them, well, there you go. Now, I don't know what your thoughts are on this, so comment below and let us know. And for me personally, I think this is a pretty cool feature actually. And for the downtimes I might be experiencing, it'd be nice to be able to pull up a couple of trips and take them if they're worth it for me to take or not. And it's gonna be pretty interesting to see exactly how it plays out because this is different. This isn't the same thing that we've been used to seeing. Normally when a rider requests a ride, they're paired with a driver right away. And if the driver doesn't accept it, it'll go to the next driver and the next driver until somebody does. So this is almost like a pool that people can choose from when it comes to what rides a driver wants to take. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how this exactly plays out once things get up and going. Now, Uber did announce one more change, and this is something that will be coming in the near future. And this is called Earnings Trends. And essentially, it's going to be launching soon where that you can further choose when and where you want to drive. So if you're wondering what the best time is to go out and drive, as well as where in your area you can go and make some money, well, that will be answered in historical data and also real-time data that is gonna be shown on a map that you can see exactly what you could be looking at when it comes to earnings. Now those aren't guaranteed because like I said, it is going on historic data and it's also based on real-time data as well. So it's just gonna be something that you're gonna have a little bit better of a picture on when it comes down to if you wanna go out and drive at a particular time and location. All right, so that wraps it up for the changes that Uber has announced. What are your thoughts on this? Comment below and share them. Also, if you have any other questions or anything, please comment in the comment section below. And if you like the upfront earnings, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications if you haven't already, because there's new videos every single week coming out, including what new changes and announcements Uber or Lyft or other platforms are making so you can make the best decisions and know exactly what the changes are when we break them down for you.